It's a great tournament. The boys loved it last year, and the year sevens last year wanted to emulate how our boys did in the competition last year. They got to play on the Franklin Gardens uh, pitch, and they want to do the same. And this time last year, it was raining, and I think we had sort of three teams, and, and then this year we're up to sort of eight teams. Um, and the weather's out, sun's out, and everyone's enjoying themselves. So yeah, it's a pleasure to be back here and and see that the project has grown in year two. We've had some great coaches come down. Uh, they've uh, helped the boys just with the um, mechanics of sevens. They, they're used to playing fifteens, but with the mechanics of sevens and the slight differences in the game, it's really helped their understanding, handling, passing, and running straight. They're, they're the secrets. And if they can get that right, then uh, then they score points, and that's what they love to do. With the support that Elite's given us, it's allowed us to to really get out and and push sevens and and the contact game for this under 13s age, which is quite an important age because the boys, some of the lads have never played on a full pitch, uh, and some of the schools don't have enough to play on a on a full pitch. So being able to use sevens as a tool of, of putting rugby into the school, where it's a lot about evasion as opposed to contact, so it allows us really to, to get athletes into the game. And as you can tell from today, there's lots of non-rugby playing. Uh, kids out here that hopefully will convert and, and go to junior clubs or continue playing at the school and enjoying it. The boys played really well in the final against Oosdale uh, who were really top opposition. They had a couple of really quick get lads at the end on, the, on both wings and uh, really worthy finalists as well. The camaraderie, the team, the teamwork, they, you can see they're through the centre of the, the whole of the, the afternoon. They got closer and closer and really pulled for each other in the end and uh, I think they, they played some really cracking sevens as well. We kept we kept hold of the ball really well. We played on a massive big pitch as well. So uh, we had to almost, I think on the, the last try that we scored, we went for about 10, 10 or 12 phases of play. So they really had to work to win. So I was delighted with their performance. I heard some good things about it last year and I looked on Northampton uh, Saints website and I saw that uh, the NSB won last year. And we played them in our in in fixtures. So I was keen to, keen to get involved and uh, we want to support Northampton Saints. As a school, we have close links with Bedford Blues, uh, Corey Hercock, who uh, comes in and coaches at, at Lincroft as well. We've got a close relationship with the Blues, but we always, we know, a lot of our lads support Northampton Saints and go and watch them at the weekend as well. So I'm uh, really keen to get involved. Hey. Hey.